Your art is telling the truth in ways that you can't in life. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try it at all. Until I got to this age, but I'm gonna start running. I messed up junior high, but now I'm gonna start running. But now I'm gonna start running. The moment you get the word you are to You run. have a limited time to stay on Earth. This thing you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for anybody else. They see you running and they say, oh, it looks so easy. You really look effortless. Before it gets to that point. It's hard. It's like hard work. It's day in, day out, sacrifice. Day you in, are day scared. Out. You're scared of failure. You're scared to make a mistake. You're scared that you're not perfect. And I'm telling you today, you ain't got to be perfect. You don't you have to say? be perfect to get what you want, to do what you want, to have what you want, to be what you want. You don't have to be perfect. It's a lie. You might be stronger than me, but I'm coming, and I'd rather die trying. I'd rather give a year. I'd rather put in work and fail. Can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? If you're not where you are, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have what you want, you want to have, if you're not where you think you should be at this particular place, it has nothing to do with the system, but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not making the sacrifice. Phenomenal or nothing. You got to write even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. Everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching and you're saying to yourself, you can do it. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. So the secret to real happiness is progress. Progress equals happiness, and if we can make progress on a regular basis, we can on. It may not happen in the time that you think is going to happen, but I want you to know something. If you quit, it's never going to happen. If you quit, if you give up, if you stop, if you do not persevere, listen to me, you will never see it. And you've got to actually go in a room, close the door, and you've got to see yourself doing it. You've got to feel yourself doing it. You've got to actually walk in it. You've got to go in the future, live it out, come back in the present, and start working toward it. And don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one-yard line. I got a saying that when life knocks you down, try and land on your back, because if you can look up, you can get up. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it. If all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless when and worthless without it. Earth, accomplish every single thing you can accomplish. Listen to me, you're gonna be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you gotta wanna succeed as bad as you wanna. Breathe. Easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you. You have to harness your will to say, I'm you going to challenge ever myself. You be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked, you were criticized. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. Integrity, honor, character, discipline, sacrifice, due diligence, sweat equity, to see it through. The difference is not the, the, the genetic code, the potential. Don't get caught up in it. Well, I've tried it four or five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And when you give the best you can and that's not enough, you must do what is required. If you run with people much faster than you, all right, yeah, you might come in last every single time, but your time will be better. 
because they're making you run all the faster. They're making they're making you dig down just a little bit more. It doesn't matter that you when your time is faster. The indomitable will, if you have a belief, you can do something. The only way you grow that, like in the gym, you grow your muscles by actually you exercising. You grow the love of you and your, and your wife by caring for them and having their back. To grow the individual will to become something, you must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. It's you, it's on you, you gotta make that happen. Nobody's gonna bring it to you on a silver platter and say, here's your dream manifested. No, it's hard, yes, it's hard. It's difficult, yes, right? And it's It may working. not happen in six months, it may not happen in a year, it may not happen in two years, but at some point, my dream is going to become a reality. You can make the commitment to your life that you don't like the results that you have and that you're gonna do something about it. See, that power is available to all of us. There's something in you that said, there's a bigger life waiting for me calling my name. There's something in you that says, I'm on my way to a greater life. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will. The major key to your reaching your dream, your living up to your greatness, your making your contribution, is you. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it, come hell or have water, I'm going after You should have cut a CD, it. you should have wrote a book. You should have got in school and got that degree. You should have started your own business. There's so many things you should have done. You should have done, but you didn't do Every it because you're scared. We're not waiting for it to happen. We just don't have sight. Sight is for people who live in the present. We have vision. We're going to make it happen before it happens. If you're waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you, it may not happen. If you're waiting on your mother or your father, they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have. And if you're waiting on them, it may never get done. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal. I want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't, you will be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. The question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? And greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day, workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. When things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? You have this opportunity of a lifetime. It means absolutely nothing if you don't take advantage of it in the lifetime of this See, opportunity. time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams. Yes to your unfolding future. Yes to your potential. to say no. When you die, die on E. Leave no dream left behind, God. Leave no opportunity left behind. You gotta run after your destiny. You gotta run after your destiny. You gotta run. You gotta run after your destiny. You gotta run. Because success is never an accident. And if you don't want it, get out of my way. Because there are some people who want to do something with their life who will run. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. And that's in every aspect of life. results in your life, to achieve your goals, your dreams, your desires, is through taking massive action. Take action, take action, take action. That should be your mantra in your head. All day, all throughout the day, all throughout the week, all throughout the month. You do that, you take massive, massive action, and see what's gonna happen in your life. Your life's gonna change. Say this to yourself every day. I can write my own book. I can have my own business. I, I can take the trip and travel around the world. It's possible. I can bounce back from adversity and reinvent my life. It's possible. 
See, if you know what your life work is, I encourage you to start working on it. If you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. Spend all your time trying to fix what's behind you because you'll never be able to fix what's behind you. You have to run after what's in front of you. If you're willing to put in 120%, if you're willing to go all in, you can take that which was once impossible and make it possible. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary that you go for what is yours in the universe. And when you are successful, you automatically add impact, positive influence, inspiration, insight, light, value, and greatness to everybody else around you. But when you give up on yourself, you're not only giving up on yourself, you're giving up on the people that stand to benefit and gain from your greatness. That's why giving up is wrong. Settling for anything other than a phenomenal life is just plain, flat out wrong. You can't outwork me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. And that's why this top spot, this number one, that's mine. You guys go ahead. Don't try. Do. Forget about trying. Forget about making an attempt. Forget about testing it out. Although you may not end up in the profession or in the area that you're starting out, you don't want to go halfway. Listen to me. You got it. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. But when you decide to act, when you decide to take life on, and let me warn you, it can be painful, it will be uncomfortable, and that's where the growth is. You wished enough, you waited enough, now let's get to work. How much running do I have to do? How much stretching do I have to do? Let's do how many heels do I have to climb? How much work do I have to put in? Find to out what it is you want and go after it as if your life depends on it. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept and where the you responsibility are. that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. So one said we have two primary choices in we life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. That you can forget about failing that test. You can forget about being a disappointment to your mom, a disappointment to your dad. You, you, the fact that you didn't finish school, the fact that you, you got a divorce, the fact that for real, for real, you feel like a failure. So you've been trying to make the rest of your life the best of your life, but you've been holding on to being a failure too. It's necessary to start talking to people and seeking and asking for what I wanted and leveraging relationships and trying to find out how do the people do it that went ahead of me? How do they do it? Then what is it I need to do? How is it I need to train myself to develop myself? What's the resources that will be required in order to make it happen? The way I see it, giving up, not living up to your fullest potential, and not using the gifts that God, life, the universe, or destiny gave you and bestowed upon you to serve the world is unacceptable. Not only is it unacceptable, giving up is wrong. Today I begin a new life. Today I shed my old skin, which hath too long suffered the bruises of failure and the wounds of mediocrity. Do you know what it takes to be great? Are you willing to go that extra mile? A grinder wakes up early, he stays up late. I tell you time and time will again, get tired. But if you have a why, we'll give you that, that makes extra you stand strength. Out. Why are you so important? Somebody's waiting for you to mess up. Somebody's waiting for you to give up. Someone is waiting for you to fall. So don't just talk about your grind. Don't just talk about how much you're this and that. What you're going Show through. me. If you're going through some hard times, it has not come to stay. It has come to pass. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going As to As I used to say to myself, I, when I would get up in the Penobscot building and I had to go into the bathroom and, and bathe in the bathroom. I sitting on the mirror that I put up, just pasted up and I read, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going so to So you've got it. to have faith, you talk to yourself, you say that affirmation, the next you must step have is patience and engage in consistent action. Get back up. Some things you can't change. 
You just have to live with. But if you Make do have right a choice, choice, when it hurts, keep going. Those cloudy days, those storms, telling you to keep going. You got Get back up. After your destiny, you can't stroll after your destiny. You can't walk after you your run. destiny. Run, run after your destiny. Run, after run. Don't be ashamed. Run. The reality of life, whatever that truth is, right? It's not as powerful as a perception of how you what see it. Looks it. Like. I don't care where you are. Every single day you wake up, if you're gonna have energy, if you're gonna have passion, every day you wake up, you gotta start with that vision. You have to know that this thing is going to work. Giving up on yourself is just plain wrong. You are not the only person who stands to benefit or gain from your happiness, your success, and your greatness. Because when you're happy, you automatically spread happiness, positivity, love, laughter, light, joy and gratitude to everyone in your doing everything family. that it takes to be happy and to be super successful is not selfish or self-centered at all. Test yourself up. When you wake up every morning, what drives you? Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. I want phenomenal growth and phenomenal relationships and phenomenal impact. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to take